And World of Poker.com, in association with Virgin Games, are proud to present the Nutstock TV. One of the characters on the tour, uh, especially last year, uh, Mohamed Shafiq, Shaft to most people. Uh, nice to see you on the tour. Nice to be here again. Yeah. Now, we're going to talk about, if, if, if it's all right, Stockport, because at the moment Stockport is absolutely massive around, uh, around the North West. Uh, and you, you, you're there on a regular basis? I'm a regular player at number 36. Yeah. It's a great place to play at. The boys look after you. Yeah. The girls look after you. Everybody looks after you, and they treat poker like a proper game that it's supposed to be, you know. Look after the poker place. Oh, fantastic, yeah. You get everything, you know, the, the, the house provides all the drinks for free, they provide all the food for free. They, they just basically, whatever you need, they provide it, you know. Yeah. And if you want to put input into the casino, they listen to you, they, you know, and they try to rectify any mistakes that they make. Yeah. So the casino actually goes out of its way to... Uh, Look after all the poker players. Yeah. Now we see your name on a regular basis on the on the uh, results. Right. Now last week they had a two fifty rebuy. Uh, yeah, they, I I won the uh, two fifty rebuy outright, uh, which was uh, nine thousand. There was there wasn't a big field because it wasn't advertised all that much, but they still got about fifty odd runners. Yeah. Uh, it can only hold sixty two, sixty three, yeah. something like that. So they can't hold a, a, a lot of fields, but they do have alternates if they, if they need them. They do provide. And they're very relaxed in, uh, relaxed in the sense that uh, if you're late, you know, you can wait and get be put in. Or if they've got a room available, they put you in. You know, they, they don't... They, there's no certain set rules whereby that this is what you have to do. Or this is, they, they're very relaxed. And, they, you know, if there's, if there's got any possibility of letting a player play or you know maybe he's a bit late they won't anti him in a way they'll just if he's on the button they'll anti him if he's not on the button they won't anti him you know what I mean yeah. they, they'll just let his chips run down but they won't anti him every hand they'll anti him when it's his turn to anti and yeah. that's it well that's what they do in the big cops Th- that's right yeah you know they, 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 basically they'll give you a chance to get to the venue you yeah. know and if you're late 5-10 minutes they're not overly worried about you and if, you know, if you're early, obviously you're early. But for anybody who's running a bit late, you know, they'll go out of their way to actually provide a little bit of an extra service. Whereby yeah. they'll say, okay, give him time. He's one of the boys, you know. Yeah. He'll be a bit late, but he'll be here. So they, they actually provide that sort of thing, you know, and which is very, very nice for a poker player. You, you know, you've got family, you've got other commitments. You, you think, well, okay, if I'm late five minutes, no one's gonna. No. give me any aggravation you can still get to the game and still be in the competition and it, it, it is not such a problem you know mm-hmm. whereas normally you're always rushing about and you're trying to get there on time and you think well if I'm not there on time I won't get in and then it's a wasted journey if you're yeah. travelling 200 miles for example I mean it's, it's my local yeah. so it's only like 20 miles down the road for me it's my local but what about for some of the other boys you have to travel like 50, 60, 80, 90 miles you know you go 90 miles and you think you know I'm not going to get in because I'm yeah. two minutes late yeah. Yeah. you know it's not nice, is it? No. So therefore, this is what I think is very, very nice about the place. And it, they really are, they do really look after everybody. Not just the poker players, they just generally look after everybody that comes into the casino. You know, they, they generally look after them and say, well, you know, look after such and such a way. And they, they're new to this, you know, give them whatever they want. You know, and at the end of the day, so long as you're there and you spend a few quid, they're not worried about spending a few quid on you as no. well. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's, it's very relaxed, you know. And, uh, I've heard it's all about the poker player. It's very, very good for the poker player. At the end of the day, they, they, they don't do lots of things. You know, they actually look after everybody that goes in there as a poker player. Yeah. There's, there's a couple of good cash games. The boys organise The actual players organise the cash games. And yeah. the casino yeah. don't say nothing about anything, you know, so long as it's within the boundaries of the limits. You know, yeah. they, they, you can't do anything, obviously, untoward. But so long as the boys are doing the right job, and getting the game organised, the management have no problem with any of the players, you know, so long as the games are organised properly and uh, everything's run correctly, right? Because obviously, being a newish casino in the poker world, they don't have sufficient dealers at this moment in time to deal the dealer's choice cash games and, and certain games, you see. Thereby they say, OK, you deal them, you give us a bit... And one of the boys actually goes out of his way to go to the casino and actually teach some of the uh, dealers how to deal certain... Yeah, he go, he makes makes... He gives his own time to the yeah. casino. He says, "Well, I'll make like a couple of hours a week, and I'll give the dealers a bit of a, you know." And he gets to run the cash game. You see, yeah. for for his time, he's like getting to run the cash game, and he's happy to do that. You see, you know. And the boys are happy because at the end of the day, 
uh, the cash game is being run correctly, you know, yeah, yeah. and you're paying very limited charges, you know, you're not paying like extortionate rates like yeah. you do in London or in Nottingham or a couple of other places I could mention whereby you're paying X amount of pounds per hour, every hour, yeah. and you're getting the service that you're getting isn't what you would expect to get, you know. In some places you're paying for your teas, coffees, even water, yeah. tap water. You have to pay for tap water. You know, I won't mention any anywhere in particular because it's not my place to say. But There's you know, places to do it. that's right. You know, for every piece of thing that you want, they charge you for it. Yet you could be spending in excess of two hundred pound a night in in the venue, right? In, in in your cable fees, and yet you can't get a cup of tea, but without paying for it, which to me seems a bit excessive. You know, if I'm if I'm giving two hundred pound uh, or three hundred pound for a, for a night in session fees, right? You know, I'm, I'm not being unreasonable. Am I? No, not so. You know, no. uh, I'm not being tight or anything like that. I'm just saying, for my three hundred pound, you know, the, the least you can do is provide me with a cup of tea or a coffee or a sandwich, maybe. You know, in, in, in that sort of respect, I'm not asking for the world. I'm paying three hundred pound a, a night. And therefore, I've got to get something for it. What am I getting for my three hundred pounds to sit there in my chair and uh, and play? Is that what you want? Because there's many places that you can go, you know. So yeah, I mean, like I said, it's my local, and at the end of the day, it's very, very good. Well, we have heard rave reviews on the website for it. Uh, is the two fifty going to be a regular thing? Uh, the two fifty rebuy is going to be a regular uh, venue. Uh, the management's we've had words with them. A few of the poker players have words with them. They're trying to extend it to uh, a two hundred uh, player. Card room. Right. Uh, they're trying to extend it a little bit, yeah, uh, which we've had input into it. And uh, yeah, it's, this is a definite. The 250 rebuy is a definite. Uh, is it, is it, was that the first one? That was the first one. They, they started with a 500 pound freeze out. Right. But what happened was that uh, that was sold out. The first one that they had, the 500 pound, that that was full. But some of the boys said, well, if you if you want to really organise a tournament, we'd prefer a 250 rebuy right. rather than the 500 pound freeze out because there's. Limited field, we prefer it to be a rebuy rather than yeah. uh, being a freeze out. And the, the management automatically looked into it and then they, they said, Yeah, we'll see see how this one goes. Yeah. If, if it does okay, we'll uh, review it again, you know, and in accordance with to the player's wishes, we'll go by that. If you want a 500 pound or a thousand pound freeze out every once a month or every two months, we'll organize it and thereby we'll put it on a regular basis we'll put it on the net and all that sort of thing so yeah we it's not just me i'm not the only player obviously there's others who have got more influence and more input into the system and thereby and obviously because i'm an extrovert character uh you know somebody might not listen to me whereas there's other people who are more professional who are more you know uh, respected in, in the in the poker world who put their input into it and they listen to immediately because these are people that you don't want to upset or or, or the fact that is that the, these people are the right people in, in first place they, 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 they automatically they're, they're the statesmen of the game you know they, 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 they play over all over the world you know people look up to these people so if they say something you better listen because they know they've got experience you know they are not they're not 60 70 year old no. for no reason you know uh, they, they've lived a bit they know the score so if they say something you listen to them and yeah a few of the boys have put all the input in and, and the management listen immediately they they look at it from their point of view and they look at it from the player's point of view and then they put it into, into the thingy but they have a regular 50 pound and a 100 pound comp you know which is on a regular every other week every they have a 50 pound comp on a monday wednesday and a friday and they turn the friday comp into a 100 pound comp every two weeks i think or every three weeks uh, but the friday comp could be a 100 pound I, I just turn up and play whichever, you know, it doesn't yeah. matter. <laughs> but uh, Mondays and Wednesdays, it's always a £50 game on there, and it, it, it usually gets filled. Yeah. Because, like I said, it's only got a limited seating arrangement at the moment. But they, they cater for everybody, basically, that if you get knocked out, they, they do have alternates, and, and you can wait for about yeah. half an hour. And there'll always be, obviously, a few knockouts, as you know, yeah. right? And, and thereby, uh, even even me, personally, you know, one or two buy-ins, and I might pack it in, I think, well, that's enough for one night, you yeah. know. And, and, and give somebody else a chance. So yeah, it's, it's great. It's absolutely you know brilliant great. stuff. Stockport 36, a poker room for poker players. That is correct. Shaft, yes. thank you very much. You're most welcome. Thank you.